Hi, this is Almir Oostes with Cape Town Emergency Medicine, here today to talk about correct insertion of a nasopharyngeal airway. A nasopharyngeal airway is an airway adjunct device used to manage airway obstruction caused by collapse or sagging of upper airway soft tissue. The first step in insertion of a nasopharyngeal airway is to select the correct size. There are two sizes to consider, the first being the diameter of the tube and the second being the length of the nasopharyngeal airway. A good rule to select the diameter of the tube is that it should be approximately the same thickness of the little finger of the person in whom the airway is going to be inserted and maybe more correctly the width of the little finger's fingernail. Alternatively, it should be the maximum diameter that allows insertion into the nose without causing sustained blanching of the skin around. When selecting the length of the nasopharyngeal tube, lay the flange of the tube at the tip of the nose and then across the face to the ear. The tip of the nasopharyngeal airway should end at the trachus of the ear. This nasopharyngeal airway is clearly too large as it lays beyond the ear. Before inserting the nasopharyngeal airway, consider applying a water-based lubricating gel to the distal end of the nasopharyngeal airway taking care not to get any of the gel into the tip as this would cause airway obstruction. Insert it into the nostril by initially upwards and then angling it towards the floor and with a gentle rotating or twisting motion insert the airway into the nose. The flange of the airway should rest at the nostril. It's important to note that loss of airway or migration into the nasopharynx is a real concern and a possible complication and Inserting a safety pin like that or using an alternative device is a necessary safety precaution. And that's it. Correct insertion of a nasopharyngeal airway.